Good morning. Uh, welcome to my video blog about the Endurance Life Classic Water. Uh, it's 4.30 in the morning um, on a Saturday morning. I don't know what I'm doing up at this time. Uh, I am getting ready to go and run 45 miles. Hopefully you know that before you started watching this, otherwise you're going to be very bored by what's about to follow. Um, as I say, it's a stupid hour in the morning. Time to get some breakfast in, get myself ready and scoot off. Right, hopefully you'll speak to me along the way. Cheers. Not Bye. on this uh, event like we do uh, our other events where we may be putting out four or five hundred signs. Okay, there are various patches along the way. There's probably about 15 to six, 15, 17 little sections. Okay, about an hour in. Uh, just gone over the five mile mark, so that's not too bad, given that it's uh, pretty technical running up to this point. A lot, uh, a lot steeper than I'd remembered, um, but generally I'm feeling pretty good. My uh, right calf's giving me a bit of jip. Turned that ankle about a month ago up in the Lake District, but I think it'll be okay. It'll warm up in a bit. Uh, hard work, loving it though. Look at the view. I mean, can't fault it. Hopefully, speak to you in about an hour. Okay, so about two hours in. Um, let me just check. I think I'm coming up on ten miles. Oh no, ten and a half, excellent. Um, going really well, really enjoying it at the minute. Uh, lovely route, I've forgotten how beautiful it is. Um, missed Claire at the last checkpoint, but uh, I guess she was stuck in traffic or something. I, uh, I'm pretty much hitting the time that I wanted to, so that's really good, pretty much bang on schedule. Uh, yeah, I've got enough food to keep me going anyway though, so that wasn't a big problem managed to uh, refill my water pouches so all seems pretty good so far managed to not fall over yet famous last words something's gonna go wrong um, but yeah really enjoying it lovely lovely scenery pretty technical running managing to just about keep my feet as I go down here yeah this bit's not so hairy a bit green which is why I decided to do the video. Um, yeah, need to eat a little bit more, I think. Uh, don't want to be flagging a bit later, but everything's going well. Really enjoying myself. And who wouldn't when you look at this? Not bad, eh? Right, three hours down. Um, done about 15.3 miles. So that's not bad, including a bit of a stop. Um, stopped at Port Levin for a few minutes where I met Claire. So she had uh, just missed me at the previous one. So that's quite good to catch up, get a bit of extra water on board and uh, just have a chat really. I'm having a nice chat with a couple of runners on the route. One of the bonuses of ultra running is you get to do that. No one ever does that on road runs. Bit of a shame really. Um, still feeling pretty surprisingly good. Legs are a little bit, you know, like I've run 15 miles, but uh, they're a third of the way through, so they'll drag me around one way or the other. Um, hopefully you can hear me over the wind on all these. Time to run a little bit more, it's got flat again. Um, next stop is Perinathno. Hopefully, might have to do one more one hour update before then. It's in about seven miles time, and I doubt that I'm running quick enough to do seven miles in an hour. Um, but I'm looking forward to that one, because that's where Isla will be, and my mum and dad and Claire's parents, and it's also where our house is that we're staying at, so somehow I've got to psychologically overcome the thought of, you know, stopping. Um, but it's good, looking forward to it, really looking forward to seeing them, and uh, having a sit down for five, ten minutes. righty ho, see you in an hour. for a four hour update. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I had some pretty dark moments in the last hour. Nowhere near as much fun. Some pretty steep uphills that I've had to walk and I've not really enjoyed. Um, and uh, as you can see behind me, 
the sun's come out full blare and uh, it's pretty exhausting to be honest. On the plus side, it's only about three miles to Perinus now, where hopefully I can have a good sit down, try and recharge the batteries a little bit, because I'm not feeling great at the moment. See you in an hour. Well, um, as you can probably tell from the backdrop and my uh, slightly different outfit, my five hour update isn't happening under exactly the circumstances I'd hoped for. Um, I made it to Perinus now, but uh, on the way there, after my last update, um, I was getting some pretty bad cramp, and my ankle, which I turned in the lakes, which I thought you know would warm up and, and settle out, just didn't. Um, every time my heel was hitting the ground, I was getting a shooting pain. Um, fortunately, my heel doesn't hit the ground very often with my running style, but. Um, on downhills it's pretty much unavoidable unavoidable, and uh, there were a lot of downhills so um, I wasn't wasn't really thinking that I was going to be able to carry that on for another 22 miles unfortunately um, and the cramp well that was happening on the uphills so the only bits I could potentially enjoy were the flats um, which there really aren't very many of on that course uh, a few lessons to learn I guess uh, having just handed in my chip and DNF'd the first ever time on an event, um, something which feels pretty awful, if I'm honest. Um, not feeling particularly good about myself right now. Uh, had a few tears um, in the checkpoint when I made the decision. Sat with my daughter, um, my wife, who's been supporting me the whole way around. Um, lessons, I suppose. Injuries don't miraculously go away overnight. Um, and if you don't eat, you will get cramp. I just couldn't get any food down me today. I don't really know why. I don't know whether it was the heat. I don't know whether it was just the hills. I really don't know what it was. Uh, normally that's something I'm pretty good at, but it just wasn't happening for me today. Um, the only other lesson, I guess, I need to train on far more similar terrain to what I'm actually going to run. The hills were brutal. Um, I enjoyed them, don't get me wrong. I was enjoying them up until the point when they started you know, to cramp me and mess with my ankle. Um, but I'm just not, I've just not trained on them enough. Uh, it's very flat around where I live and uh, I need to do much more similar running to the type of running for the race if I'm going to achieve it. So this is me signing off unfortunately. Um, not the way I wanted to. I wanted to be doing it about 22 miles further west than this. Um, it's somewhere I've been before. I've run this race before and I finished it. Um, and I'm pretty gutted to find that I couldn't do that today. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll add something after I do this for an edit later. But at the moment, I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted. And I'm signing off. Cheers.